In this video, we've got the diagram shows two particles that are connected by a light and extensible string. The 5 kilo particle A is on a rough horizontal surface, and the 3 kilo particle B hangs on the other end of the string. The string passes over a smooth light pulley. The initial speed of both particles is 2 meters per second. Okay. And a constant frictional force of 4G newtons works against A. The particles slow down and stop before A reaches the pulley or B hits the floor. First of all, find the acceleration of the particles. OK, right, so the acceleration of the particles will be negative because the system's slowing down. OK, that's what we uh, are hoping to achieve here. So that was the only way it's going to make sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up um, uh, a couple of equations to get that ball rolling. So let's look at particle A, and we're going to resolve that horizontally, okay, taking to the right as positive. Now I've got the tension working to the right. I've got 4G working against me. And that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. So 5 times A. So there's my first equation. Now, for particle B, I'm going to resolve taking downwards as positive. So I've got the 3G. I've got the tension working against me. And that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration, so 3A. OK. So now, if I add those two together, OK, I get equation 1 and equation 2. I'm going to add those two equations together. So the t's will cancel. I'm going to have 3g and minus 4g. So minus g has got to be equal to 5a plus 3a, which is 8a. And so a is minus g over 8. OK, so I'm going to take g as 9.8, as I usually do. Always keep an eye out if the question says otherwise. So minus 9.8 divided by 8, and that gets me minus 49 fortieths, or minus 1.225 metres per second per second. So the acceleration, as we said, had to be negative in order for it to be slowing down. Okay, And that makes sense, um, because if you just had um, uh, these two particles, um, and you've got this particle here, and that particle there, and that one weighs less than that one, okay, then there shouldn't really be um, the option for B to really drag A along the table, okay, due to its uh, less mass. So we're not, we shouldn't really be surprised by that figure being negative. Now, the tension in the string, I have that bit of information which I can then substitute back into one of the two original equations. So if I substitute it back into number one, uh, the T, if we add the 4G to both sides, it's going to be 4G plus 5 lots of A, which was the minus 1.225. OK, so 5 lots of my previous answer, and then I'm adding on 4 lots of 9.8, and we should get 33.075 newtons. OK, now, seeing as... And I've just noticed that you know I'm, I'm using I've been using 9.8 for gravity, which is correct to two significant figures. These to two significant figures as well, uh, minus 1.2 uh, to two sig fig. Okay, so that's minus 1.2 meters per second per second, and uh, 33 newtons to two sig fig. I'll put the meters per second in there. There we are. Okay, right. So we've got those. Last question. The distance the particles move before they come to rest. OK, so that's a SUVAT problem. SUVAT. I know what the acceleration was. That's minus 1.225. Now, I also was told that uh, bit of information up there, the initial speed of both, both the particles is 2 metres per second. So that's 2. Now, the final velocity, I want them to come to a halt. So that means the final velocity is 0. And I want to find the distance that they cover. So I want the equation that doesn't have t, 
which is the last one. Okay, so we've got v squared is u squared plus 2as. So v squared is 0 squared, so 0 is equal to u squared, which is 4, plus 2 lots of a, which is minus 1.225, times s. Now, if I rearrange that to get s equals, we're going to have uh, adding that onto both sides, so 4 over 2 lots of 1.225. Okay, so 4 over 2 lots of 1.225, and that gets me 80 over 49, which is metres, which is 1.6 metres to two significant figures. So that's how far the particles move before they come to rest.